So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing the part two for the scrolling platformer. So I'll show you guys what we'll be doing today. So today all we'll be doing is the movement of the player. As you can see, there's also friction. So the longer you hold it, the more friction it has. It will like slide a little bit after you hold down. So we will only be doing the left and right controls right now. It's not dropping down because we have not done the Y scrolling in the y uh code so today we'll just be doing the x so now i'm gonna go to the code so we're gonna actually do the tile sets first so i already have it all done the tile sets so i'm gonna teach you guys how to do it so we have these tiles already downloaded in the google drive so you guys can just get it in the first video we already have it so you can just duplicate this, control C, control V, and then you can just do the tile sets. So I'm just going to make a simple tile set. Make it side by side. Mm. And you can use the arrow keys so it can um, make it out a little bit more. So that's actually pretty good. Now I can select both of them, control C, control V, and drag it right there. I'll probably do two more on this side, on the on the right side. So just duplicate that. Hold down shift. Hold down shift to select multiple items. Oops. Control V. I, I guess I can select all of it. I'll group it so then it'll stay all together and paste it again. I'll just make a simple... Uh, a tile like a little platform you can move around on so yeah that's pretty much how you do it you center it there you go so that's like a little tile set that's how you do it in our other videos we also did it uh, taught you guys how to do it we can get some boxes to like make the platform look cooler I guess we can like put boxes everywhere yeah see looks pretty nice already so yeah that's pretty much how you do it we also taught you guys how to do that in the uh, simple platformer and the um and the ninja platformer so if you watch those two then you should be you should know how to do these tile sets so yeah that's how you do it and we can also teach you how to draw these so we also made our own types of tile sets we drew these um so I will be teaching you guys how to draw them. So let's paint a new costume. Oops. Go back. Paint a new costume. So what we do is no outline and then use the rectangle tool. So first we draw a rectangle. So we just use some green color. We can use like some lines for the side as like vines or something like vines. Twenty maybe. Um and then we'll draw hold down shift so then you get a straight line. We'll draw the top and then we can get a darker uh lighter color. A lighter color maybe and then uh put it on top of there. We can make it go to the back layer. Select it, make it go to the back layer. So boom, there you got uh, the thing. Let's move that back layer and then we can draw some vines on the side, hold down shift. There you go. So now you can just uh, copy paste all of that, group, group all of it. And then you can just copy paste it, make some, oops, gotta copy that. Copy paste it, and then you have like you can put like multiple, you can like stack them. So, yeah, that's how you do tile sets. <clears throat> so, next, you can rename it to level one, one, which means level one, part one, with a space in between. And then this is level, this is level one, part two, level one, part three, level one, part four, 
level two, part one, level part two, part two, level two, part three, level three, part one, level three, part two, level three, part three, and finally, level three, part four, and this is just level four. So I'm gonna delete these. So now let's move on to the code. So, so I looked through the code for the player, and I found out that set game would be kind of confusing because I broadcasted something else called set up. So we can delete this and broadcast, ch exchange that out for, let's name it green flag as before. Sorry for the confusion, guys. Just do it like that. Green flag and then play game. I'll zoom in. And then instead of set game, now you have to uh, change this to green flag. So now let's receive a new message called play game. So when I receive play game, let's get a forever loop. We'll broadcast and wait a new message called reset. So this is just to reset the whole game. Reset and broadcast another message called set up to set up the game again. Set up, and then we can game on. So it will run all of this, reset all the variables. So let's go to my blocks, get the game on, get a repeat until. So repeat until exit is greater than nothing. So um, if the player dies or something, we'll fill this place with die. But right now we're gonna um, put it as an empty string and put exit right here. Exit, so if it touches the portal, this will um, be win. And if it dies, we can like fill it up with die. And now we will make a new custom block called tick. It's, it's, uh, it's really fast, that's why we call it tick. Just leave this blank for now. It's just tick. It's really fast, that's why we call it tick. It's like a tick tock on tick on a clock. So let's get the tick. Get an if then statement. This is a movement. If the left arrow key, key left arrow, is pressed, then we can point in direction of negative 90. So it'll face the left side, point in direction of negative 90. And don't forget to do this. Set it to don't rotate, or else your sprite will flip upside down, and you don't want that, so click don't rotate. And we will change the, uh, uh, change the um, sorry, uh, speed x, sx by negative two um so sx is uh just for the player so you got to uh set uh make it for this sprite only i think we set that on the last video so next you want to duplicate this put it under here instead of left arrow you want to do right arrow key if right arrow key is pressed then you point direction of 90 so it'll face the right side and the speed x should be two instead so, and then you can also do WASD as well. So then you can put an or right here, or. So if key left arrow or the A key is pressed, then it'll move to the left. We just duplicate this, move that out, put that in here. If the key right arrow key is pressed, that or the D is pressed, then we can also do the same thing. And now we're going to work on the friction. So we're going to set the speed X, the SX, to um, SX multiplied by 0 0.8. So this is to make it a pretty small number. So um, it won't go super fast and glide all over the screen. So it'll have a little bit of friction to the player. Put that in here. And if... Um, you need the greater than. So if the absolute value, absolute value of the speed x is greater than 0 0.9. So the absolute value is just to keep it a positive number, not negative. Whenever you move a little bit, it will also change a little bit. So that's the friction for the player. Then we'll make a new block. Keep that empty for now. We'll make a new block called change player x. Change player x by change player x by 
um, and then you add an input called SX. Like that, so press OK. Get the change player X by right here. So then we can change the X, oops, change X by the speed X, and then you position. We'll make a new uh, block called position. So position like that. So position is just for the scrolling. So, so position is for positioning the sprite as um, equal to the scrolling. So it'll position a little bit to the scrolling. And for position, we'll just take go to. Go to. And you want to find the difference between the X and scroll X. And just duplicate this. And instead of X, you can do Y right here. And instead of scroll X, you do scroll Y. There you go. And then you want to do the, and then right down here at the friction area, you want to do change the player X by round of the speed X. So this will round the number to the, like the nearest tenth or something. Uh, first number, one whole number, so um, just round the number so you won't have any decimals and left over. And then finally, you want to go over here and then you run the position like that. And then right here in the repeat until, you will run the tick and broadcast and wait a new message called tick. Oops, accidentally turn on caps lock. I will, I guess I can keep it, it's okay. Um, I guess I can do it again. Tick, so like that. So as of now, we have all of this code. I'll zoom out a little bit. Like that. Go to the platforms. Go make a block called position. and add two inputs, one called X and one called Y. And then click OK. So do it in platforms. Next, you wanna uh, get a go to. Now we're trying to position the platform. We already have the positioning for the player right here and right here. So now let's go to the platform. I already have the platform right here. Um, so we want to get a go to, like I said, go to X and Y of the position, get an if else, if the X is equal to the Y, uh, equal to the X position, so if the X is equal to the uh, X position, let's go to motion, X position, and, you got an and, and, so you can duplicate this, put this right here, and instead of X, you wanna do Y, and instead of X position, you do Y position. So like this, if the X is equal to the X position and the Y is equal to the Y position, this is positioning the platforms. So we wanna show it if it's the correct um, position, and we wanna hide it if it's not. And then we'll now, we will need to, if it receives the tick, when I receive the tick, then we can position it of the difference of the scroll X, uh, of the difference of the X and the scroll X. So get a subtraction, subtraction, um, X and, oops, X subtracted by the scroll X, you wanna find the difference. And then instead of, uh, and then right here, just duplicate this. Because right now this is only for scrolling for the X. So just put it like that. And then next, you want to get a clone. You want to make a new block. Instead of X, sorry, I accidentally said the wrong thing. So you say Y right here and scroll Y like that. And then now we need to make a new block called clone. So this is just to like, um, 
pos uh, make where you want the platforms to be. So clone at, put two inputs, X and put another one, Y. So clone at X and Y. So you want to create a clone of myself. And then you want to change the X. We'll get onto this in the next video because um, we're running low on time. We will finish the platform, um, like the positioning of the platform later, but we will finish this part first. So change the Y by, so you want to change the X by the X, Y by the Y, and you want next costume. So the costumes, it'll just go to the next costume like that. Next costume under here. And then finally, we have one last bit of code for the backdrop. So when the key M is pressed, so this is just for like finding where you want the um, uh, to position your collectibles. We'll get onto that later. So like when you press M, it will set the mouse, set the mouse variable to joining the um join the mouse x and plus the scroll x sorry so you add the scroll x right here mouse x plus the scroll x so this is just showing the position of it and then you put the join right there put a comma just to separate them two and they get duplicate this Instead of scroll X, we do scroll Y. Instead of mouse X, we do mouse Y. So we got this from Griff Patch's tutorial. It's a pretty good strategy, I guess. And then we can show the variable because when you're testing, sometimes you might hide the mouse variable. So when you play this, we hit, now we have the movement, as you can see. And then when you press M, it will go to the position of the Y, X and Y position of the mouse. So next, we're gonna add the last chunk of code for our backdrop, I mean, uh, for our platforms. So we're gonna get, when I receive the green flag, we will hide. And when I receive reset from the um, player, it's resetting the game, it'll delete the clones, because as you can see, we're using clones right here. Reset, delete this clone. And then finally, when I receive setup to reset the game, oops, setup, then we can set the X to zero, set X to zero, duplicate this. And this is for the, um, the sprite only. As you can see, if I showed it, it's platforms X for the platforms only. So if it's not for the platforms only for you guys, you guys got to do that only for the platforms and you want to hide after that get an if then statement if level is equal to if the level is equal to one then we can switch costume switch costume sorry to level one one the first thing and then we can create a clone at uh, x360. Like that's somewhere right here. And y0. So now let's play it. As you can see, the backdrops are showing up. It's not, the background is not scrolling. Those platforms are not scrolling yet. We have not got onto that. The player is moving fine. When you press M, the mouse, it'll go to the mouse position. So, yeah, that's all we have for now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.